Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zade here with another episode of Zade's Experience. So I'm going to be starting off another carnivore challenge. I'm going to be starting off an extra 90 days of carnivore. That's right, the carnivore challenge is back. But I'm going to be adding a couple of extra things that I know that will definitely, definitely improve the results of my carnivore diet. Again, this time we're going for fat loss and retaining a good amount of muscle at the same time. So come with me and let's check this out. Now you've clicked on the video and now you want to know what are the changes that you're going to be making this time around Z. So the changes that I'm going to be making are the following. Mainly it's going to be five changes that I'm going to be adding to this carnivore diet in comparison to the past times that I've done the carnivore diet. In the past I've done just straight up carnivore diet, you know, just the way kind of everybody does it. Just eat red meat, see what the changes are. Second time around, I played a little bit more with it. And this time around, I think I've got to dial down to a completely different point. So hopefully this works and I'm super excited to see what the results are. But the changes are the following. So change number one, I'm going to be eating leaner cuts of meat. Now, the reason for this, I know there's a lot of people that say you should be eating cuts that are high in fat, that are going to really, really boost the amount of fat that you eat and all this and that. What I've seen is that my body just doesn't process fat as well as many other people. And when I, that's one of the reasons why I did my genetic testing. And sure enough, one of the things that came up over and over and over again was that my body just doesn't metabolize saturated fats as well. As I told you guys on that video, you're not completely subjected to your genes 100%, but they do play a role on how they express themselves on a daily basis. And depending on the changes that you do on your life, depending on your environment, depending on what you eat, depending on all these little things, these express themselves more and more. And so something that I know I have to do right now is cut back on the fats. Now, I'm not gonna come back on the fats completely, that's not smart at all, but I'm gonna cut back on these fats in particular, the ones that come with my meat, and I'm gonna eat leaner cuts of red meat, leaner cuts of pork, leaner cuts of whatever animal products I decide to eat. And the second thing that I'm gonna be doing along with this, following my first point, is I'm gonna be adding fish. I'm gonna be adding a lot more fish into the equation. I'm gonna be adding sardines, I'm gonna be adding mackerel, I'm gonna be adding some salmon, I'm gonna be adding a couple of different fishes. And the reason is my body just seems to digest them very, very well. I never, I've never had an issue with bloating, I've never had an issue with fish in general, you know? Just salmon, I have a little bit of a tough time eating for some reason, I've, I'm not a big salmon fan. Unless I put lemon on it, then then yeah, I'm okay, but I don't wanna do that for this. Just keep it as a crutch, you know? The only reason why I eat salmon is with a little bit of lemon, so no, um, I'll, I'll eat it, but it's not my, my food of choice, you know? Also, another one of the reasons why I'm eating more fish would be the omega-3s. Um, with all this red meat, I think we do have to keep a balance with the omega-6 to omega-3 ratios. And in a Western diet, I know that, or the modern Western diet right now that we have here in the US, uh, I know that there's way more omega-6s in our diet and sure enough with a lot of meat I know that that's gonna go through the roof and so one good way to balance that and balance out the fact that I'm not eating as many fats or as many fatty cuts of meat um, would be perfect. That's one of the reasons why this is perfect. I will be adding these omegas. So I'm basically taking control of the types of fat that I eat and it's gonna be more pronounced on the omega-3 side coming from fish. So I'm gonna be really counting on my fish to come through for me and really help me out. And plus, I, I figured that there's a lot of cognitive function that comes with this. I, uh, I sometimes feel that I lose a little bit of cognitive function when I'm in the carnivore diet, and I feel like this is really gonna help bring my brain activity, my brain level, or lack <laughs> thereof, uh, a little bit more. Um, it's gonna help it go up a little bit. It's gonna boost it, so hopefully that happens. And the other source of, uh, of omega-3s that I'm gonna be getting is gonna be eggs. Eggs is gonna play a major, major role. Eggs are, is the one thing that just really seems to jive well with my body, you know? All the time I always um, ask my girlfriend, hey, I, I wanna get some eggs. And she's like, eggs again? Eggs again? Like, she, she, she hates eggs. I love eggs because they, I just feel really good after I eat them. I don't feel heavy. 
and I can eat four or five of them, no problem in one sitting. And I just feel great afterwards. I even feel a little bit better eating eggs than I do meat, which is a little trippy, but it just seems to work. And also because of the high choline count on it, there's a lot of choline in eggs. And in a future video, I'm gonna explain a little bit more why that is super, super, super important to me in particular. But if you know anything about choline, you just, you know that it really does help with brain function and a couple of other things. And I noticed that it really helps me in particular. So that's gonna be a massive, massive part of this. Fish and eggs. So I'm not taking away the fats completely. I'm just replacing the meat fats with fish fats or omega-3 fats coming from the eggs and the fish. So the fats are still there. So just keep that in mind. So number three is gonna be supplements. I'm gonna be adding more supplements. Yes, I'll be explaining more of what I'm gonna be adding down the line and there's a reason for it. As I've told you guys several times before, I think supplements are a tool. And if we have access to this tool, I mean, why not use it? It's like saying that you're not gonna consume YouTube videos just because you know you rather get your information from somewhere else or you know from a book, which is totally fine. You can go ahead and do that. But if it speeds up the process, and it's one less thing to think about, you know, why not do it? It's a tool there, it's a resource that's there. I'm not in the game of, I'm 100% carnivore and strictly carnivore, all meat. I'm not in the vegetarian or paleo, I'm not into that. I know that the carnivore diet works for me, I know that the carnivore diet has worked for a lot of people that I've helped out very recently, such as my brother, my girlfriend, and a couple of others and from what I got from the comments, many of you guys. So I'm more in the game of optimizing what I have. I'm, more, I'm in the game of optimizing my body, my mind, as best as I can. If I can take a supplement that's gonna help out with that, that's gonna help enhance what this carnivore diet gives me, what this carnivore diet does for me and the ones I love and the people I care about, then why not go ahead and use it, you know? It's a resource. And again, I'll explain more on this in coming videos. Otherwise, this video is gonna get very, very long if I go into each one of these. But yes, I'm gonna be adding a couple of supplements in. More on that on a future video. Number four. Now this is super important, guys, and hopefully you guys don't trip when I add this one. This one is, is still actually carnivore. It's, it's actually carnivore, but I'm gonna be adding a fermented food. One fermented food only, and it's gonna be after the first month. When I do this, I will go ahead and explain it. I won't release what it's gonna be just yet, but if you guys have been watching my channel, you probably can make a pretty good educated decision as to what it is. And the reason for it is, it's that it's, I have found nothing, nothing that helps out as much as this fermented food has helped me out. And it actually comes from 100% from animal products, so if that gives you a clue, you guys know probably what I'm gonna be adding, but again, I'm release more and more of this in a future video. So I'm gonna be adding one fermented food and I'll tell you guys in the near future. And number five, finally. Um, number five is gonna be fasting. Ta-da, no surprise. Fasting has really helped me out. It's, it's been proven time and time again. If you wanna lose fat, stop eating. <laughs> so yeah, it just it just really does work. But more than that, I think it's gonna help out immensely with several things, you know? And the more, and what I've noticed with the fasting is, yeah, I lose a lot of weight, I do a lot of everything, I, I get to the goals faster, and there's, it's no problem if I wanted to start fasting right now, and I wanted to lose like 30 pounds in a month, I can do 48s, and I know that'll get me there no problem, but with the goals that I have now, which is losing the weight and at the same time, keeping a considerable amount of muscle, I think that 24 to 48 hours max is gonna be very appropriate for me. I notice that when I do 24 hours, the fat loss is a little bit slower, but it just really, really works for me. I get it really dialed in and I feel like I can serve a lot more of the muscle. So that's why I'm doing 24s. And if I feel, sometimes I feel like I really don't wanna eat and that's why I will do a 48 hour, you know, or maybe a 30 hour, you know, somewhere between 24 to 48 hours, I think is like the sweet spot for me. And some days I might eat a little bit earlier than the 24 hours and that's perfectly fine. You you just really gotta listen to your body on, on that, especially if I'm gonna be doing it for 90 days. You know, I'll definitely decide 
when I'm gonna be breaking less than 24 hours. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that out of like maybe the 90 days, it's gonna be like 80 days where I'm gonna be doing straight off 24 hours or more than 24 hours. And uh, those other 10 days will probably be just starving or something like that. Cause it does happen from time to time where I just feel like I need to eat. I'm starving, like, you know, and, and you gotta listen to that too, I think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think those are the main changes that I'm gonna be doing this time around. And I'm super excited to see the results that they are gonna give me. I've been reading way, way more up on this, um, you know, after doing my whole genome test and uh, getting that sequence and everything and just really diving into my genes. I noticed a lot of things and I think that these five major changes that I'm gonna be doing to the carnivore diet is really gonna help me optimize my body, my brain, my everything, you know? I try hard every day, but I think this is one of the final components, getting the diet dialed in, really working on my exercise a little bit more. You know, it's all it really is all the small things. They start, I, I really do believe it's the small things. They just start adding up one by one, one by one. I think about them as a little Lego, you know? You got one little Lego, it's a Lego. You know, it's, it's there, supplement, it's there, it's a pill. That's all it is. But you start stacking one supplement with a cold shower in the morning, maybe a run in the afternoon, and you're fasted. And you know, all these things just start really building up on one on top of each other. And I think this is really gonna do it for me. And I, even though it feels like it is a lot of changes, it actually feels like, like I've done it before. You know, I've tested this thought out for a couple of days, but now I wanna test it for a very prolonged period of time, which is why I'm doing the night of this. And, I, and it's giving me some good results. So I'm, I'm really anxious to see what it's gonna do over the course of 90 days versus the course of like five, six days where in which I tested this in for the first time. So that is it for this video, guys. Please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Go ahead and push that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And definitely, definitely push that like button if you like this video. It really helps out the channel. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying, that you guys are watching. That to me means the world. It means that I can keep on doing this. You know, I don't, I don't get paid to make these videos by anybody, but I really do enjoy making them. You know, it's just watching your guys' comments, how people say, you know what, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna do this, and some of them um, come back and say, you know what, I've tried this for a couple of days, thank you very much, you really helped me. That means the world to me, you know? And in the future, if I do get paid for this, then awesome, but at the moment, I just really, really enjoy putting these videos out, and you guys make it all worthwhile, so uh, I thank you guys very much, I really appreciate it. And with that note, Zay, out. Peace.